Hey, what's going on everybody? I hope you're having a fantastic day. Welcome to my review of the Cars 3 Mini Racers Advent Calendar. I thought it'd be a good time to review it after Christmas. Of course, today is December 26th, so I hope everyone had a great day yesterday if you do celebrate Christmas. And let me know in the comments section below if you got any cars or whatever, any gifts to add to your collection or whatnot because I'd love to hear it in the comments below there. And I got some cars myself. I may do a haul video on everything, so vote if you'd like to see that in the top right hand corner here. The reason why I'm doing this poll is because I wanna see if you guys really wanna see it or not because I don't wanna feel like I'm just waving my stuff in front of your faces, like bragging about it. I don't wanna be that way, so if you guys feel like it would be that way, then vote no and I just won't do it. But I do want to see if the majority of you want me to do it and then I will consider probably doing the video. But today we have the advent calendar for the mini racers. It was only released in Europe unfortunately. I have no idea why but yeah not really available here in the US. Although if you have an Amazon account then you can buy it for like $25 there the link is below if you do want to purchase it I think it's a pretty good deal especially since you'd have to go on eBay and then pay like a reasonable price but then shipping just brings up to like 40 bucks and it's just way too expensive in my opinion especially because the contents eh, they don't really live up to that price value in my opinion and we'll talk about that later but like I was saying I don't know why they didn't release it in any other countries or I should say continents because Europe it seems to be pretty widespread there like I know someone was like saying in the United Kingdom I got this for like four pounds and that's really really cheap so I don't know why it couldn't have been made over here but it's okay I was able to get it on Amazon to review for you guys first of all I love the art image on here it's not like fully animated it's kind of like a drawing I guess you could say with Cruz and McQueen racing through the snow and icy valleys with an icy Willie's Buttes in the background. You can see some stacks of presents laying around in the snow. And of course it says advent calendar. And since this was released in Europe only, you have it in all the other languages. So calendario de aviento, contents five vehicles, accessories as well. So it doesn't actually say how many accessories because there are a lot. Of course you have the typical Cars 3 logo there in the corner. It does say times five mini racers there. On the back here, of course, 24 play pieces, so I guess this is one of those advent calendars that doesn't go up to Christmas Day. And you have times five there again, an advent calendar in a lot of different languages. I think that first one there is French, then you have, I don't know what that is, advent calendar, maybe that's German, that is probably Portuguese, that is Spanish right there. Uh, I don't know what that would be. Maybe that's Portuguese. Oh, that's probably Italian. Italian, yeah. It's probably, don't know. That's Arabic. Russian's in here somewhere. So if you guys know, let me know in the comments below. And I really do like the, like, wrench snowflakes and, like, the little bolts that come falling down. I think that's really cool. A nice creative design. So I'll be right back with this little plastic wrap that comes in opened up so then we can open up each box individually. All right, so let's begin here. The numbers aren't in any sort of order, but I did find one to be right here. So let's open it up. I think you just kind of press that down and then you can open along the perforated line. There we go. I kind of want to keep this box in decent condition because like I said, I really like the art. So I did hear that they started off with Mini Racer Lightning McQueen, so that's always neat. Of course, it does make sense to begin with McQueen, or maybe end with him. Either way would have been good. Probably start, though, is better. And this is exactly the same as the Mini Racer released earlier in the year. Link to my review of that, along with all the other ones, is in the description below. Tube is up here. Let's check it out. Pretty sure it is a cone. Is not the most exciting thing, but oh well, I just tore it. Come on, RC Cars 5 just tore it again. I don't know, these are kind of hard to open without, yep, yeah, I'm just tearing it. So I guess I'm sacrificing the box. I'll try and keep it in decent condition, but it'll be a little hard. So here is the cone. 
just kind of like a standard cone. And we will compare it to the cones included with like Dexter Hoover, a part of the Movie Moments line. And he came with some cones and we'll see if they're the same. Three is over here. Let's see what we got in here. Ooh. Yeah, I just tore it badly. Oh man, I'm so bad. Anyway, we have a green flag. We can get it out of the plastic blister in there. This is a little tough. Oh, got it. Now I heard that these flags are entirely useless because they don't fit into like Dexter Hoover and they don't go into the tops of the cones here, which a lot of people thought that they would. Really, they don't go into the tops there. It seems like they kind of would have, but no, they don't. I think maybe if they made the opening a little bit deeper, you could have stretched it. But yeah, that kind of stings. Green flag, nice to have though. Where is number four? Number four is over here. This looks long, so maybe it's a pit stop barrier. And sure enough, it is. I'm just ripping this box all over the place though. Cal Weathers pit stop barrier. Looks pretty cool. Let's get out of there. Come on, so tight in there. Got it. All right, looks pretty cool, although mine looks to be a little damaged. Yeah, what happened here? We got this nastiness over there, and my decals are a little messed up there. That kind of stinks. Yeah, look, there's like a cut there. A little disappointed about that because it's not like I can just buy another one cheaply. I have to spend another 25 bucks. Oh, well, it's not that noticeable. All right, moving on to five. It's right here. So we haven't gotten any like of the same things two times in a row, which is good. Here we have a checkered flag. Nice, we'll compare that to Dexter Hoover's checkered flag later on. Six, 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 where is six? Where is six, six? Where are you six? Oh, down here, hiding in the corner, along with the presents. All right, got that one open without ripping anything too bad. And we have Jackson Storm. How nice. Again, same mini as released earlier on. Link to my review of him is in the description below. And yeah, I reviewed him in a separate video than McQueen because they were released at different times, just so everyone knows. Seven, day seven. Now, for those wondering like why I didn't review these or do like a video every day opening up the advent calendar. First of all, would it make an exciting video if I just opened it up and was like, hey, I got a cone. Yeah, I got a green flag. And that's exactly why I didn't do it. Here we have a Dynaco toolbox with 42 on each side, or actually just that one side. So that's pretty cool. We'll compare that to the previously released Dynaco toolboxes. See if they're that much different. Eight right here. This is probably a cone if you ask me, or a flag. Oh, it's a black flag, nice. I don't know what that signifies in a race, if anything at all, it's just made up, maybe. Come on, let's get out of there. This one's hard. Uh-oh. Sorry guys to be wasting your time here. Got it out, I just don't wanna break it, but it's really tight in there. Let me show that a little bit more. Just a black flag. All right, moving on to a nine now, which is over here. This is definitely a cone, definitely. Yep, there it is. You know, these are good for like display dioramas. So that's why I like the cones more than the flags because the flags, I, they just lay there and they don't really do anything, unfortunately. But maybe I'll find a purpose for them in the future. Do we have another cone, two cones in a row, two cones in a row? That kind of stinks, but oh well. Good thing I'm opening them all at once, so we don't have to be too sad about it. Here we have 11, this has gotta be a pit stop barrier since it's long. Yes, this one looks good. This is Jackson Storm's pit stop barrier and the decal looks to be very, very nice. Much better quality than Cal Weathers, so I'm happy about that because his is probably the best anyway. All right, moving on to day at 12. Let's zoom back out here. Day 12 down here. This has gotta be 
a flag of some sort. Maybe the blue and red one. Maybe. Nope, we got a yellow flag. I'm pretty sure Mattel already released a yellow flag with Dexter Hoover. 13 is right over here. Probably a mini racer, actually. Mater, maybe? Oop, sorry about that. I just hit the camera. I'm trying to get this open without tearing the... Whoa, whoa. Cruz Ramirez, actually. And she just jumped out. Let me reposition the camera there. Looking good. But again, same as before. Link to my review of her is in the McQueen link, which is the first one. The first grouping of mini racers. 14. Gotta be a cone due to the size. Yep, we got another cone. So that makes for four cones so far. 15's over here, probably another flag. I hope it's the blue and red one because that one looks pretty cool actually. I think it's blue and red at least. Oh, we got a white one. Still pretty cool. I don't know if Mattel already released a white one or not. Jesus, oh my gosh. Did you see that? I pulled that out and somehow like I hit Cruz across the table. That's how tight they are in there. I don't even know how Cruz got hit. I'm just checking for any chips. I think we're good or maybe not. I don't really care about this Cruz because I already have another one. But here's the white flag. Looking, looking pretty white. All right, moving on to 16, which is right here. Maybe another flag. Oh, something unique. There's actually only one of these in the entire calendar, and it is a motor oil can to drink out of. So that is really cool. You can see some information there on this side as well. It's too small to read, but it does say quality oil. Very, very nice. We'll compare this to the other oil cans that Mattel has released. That might be my favorite accessory from the whole bunch because there's only one of them. 17's right here, probably a cone. Yep, it's another cone. Thanks for five. 18's right here. Moving along pretty nicely and I... Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Sorry about that, Cal Weathers, but it's nice to see you too. Looks like he didn't damage or anything like that. This is dangerous, especially when you're recording it. You're working around the camera, so sorry about that. But he looks good. Again, already reviewed him in my review with McQueen and Cruz. I was just checking because I accidentally hit my cars back there. All right, 19 is the next day down here. Probably a pit stop barrier. I think it's gotta be McQueen's now. That's the only one left. Oh, I just pulled that right off. Nice job. Nice job, RC Cars 5. Nice. It is exactly what I predicted it to be. And we'll take a closer look at this later on in the video and compare it to the other one. 20 is right next to it. This has got to be a flag. Hold on one second. Let me just clear out all the stuff that we already got so I don't feel like I'm going to hit it or anything. Oh yes, this is my favorite flag. Blue with a red stripe. And that just came off. Blue with a red stripe, looks pretty cool. I don't know what it means though, but since it has multiple colors going on, it looks kind of interesting. 22 we got going on right here. A red flag, all right, all right. Pull that one right on out. 20, I skipped 21, like an idiot, oh man. Sorry guys, I skipped 21. Oh well, good thing I'm doing them all at once instead of individually. But here we have another cone. Wow, silly me, I'm just losing it today. I'm just tired. I am recording this on Christmas Day. So maybe that's why, because I stayed up late last night for Christmas Eve. Just having an action-packed couple days. Oh, here we have a Rusty's 95 Pit Crew Box, Toolbox, so that's cool. Moving on to 24 over here in the corner. What could this be? It's gotta be Mater. Yep, it's Mater. Mater to conclude the entire thing. So that, whoa, again, that's Mater. Come on, dude. <laughs> that's the third one that fell out, but good way to start with McQueen and good way to end with Mater. Although personally, I think it would have been more fitting to end with Cruz Ramirez because she was more 
of a main character than Mater in the movie, but it doesn't really matter. They're both really awesome. And so I'm going to get this mangled box out of here. I know you guys have been staring at it forever now. And then we're going to take a look at all these things that we got out of there individually. All right, so I got everything cleaned up here. And we're just going to go through each of the accessories and compare them to previous renditions. Starting with the cones. So inside the advent calendar, we opened up a total of six cones, which is quite a bit. But like I said, they are nice for like dioramas and displays. And upon comparing them to the two cones that were included with Dexter Hoover, and they're also included with Charlie Checker and Marlon Clutches McKay, also in the Movie Moment series. And they are the same exact cones. So let's just take one of each here. Orange colors are pretty much the same. Same indent on the top. Same four dots there on the bottom. Everything is the exact same. Same like amount of flexibility in the rubber there. And you can kind of twist them around. So that's nice and a little fun there. So if you're like me and you opened up Dexter Hoover from the Movie Moment series, you now have a total of eight cones. And if you have Charlie Checker and Marlon Clutches McKay, then you have even more. But I haven't opened those up because I don't even need any more cones. Eight is definitely enough for me. So we're going to stack those and take a look at the flags now. So I actually looked it up and looked at the meaning of all these flags. So they aren't really made up. They do have a meaning except for maybe my favorite one over here. But we'll talk about that in a moment. So black here. This basically signals to a racer for them to come into the pits because of some sort of dis or a, like rule break, a fault. They disobey the rules and now they have to come into the pits, I think. Pretty sure on that one. Green usually like indicates the start of the race or after like a period when like you can go again, like where it was initially stopped because of something, but then now you can go again. Pretty simple there. It's like a green light. Red means that the conditions for racing are no longer adequate, so you have to stop racing, which makes sense. Again, red, stop. Checkered flag, beginning and start of the race, you know, like last lap. You guys know what that is, which is probably everyone's favorite. Yellow is like caution, and it basically means for all the racers to slow down because of a crash, perhaps. White is the one that I was a little confused on, but basically it means that there are like drivers practicing in the pits or something like that. It has to do with some sort of practice thing, but I'm not entirely sure. Now I read that there is a flag that is blue with two red crosses or two red lines going diagonally, and that means for the lapped racer to come into the pits, but I did not find a flag that had just one red slash on it so i don't know what happened but i'm pretty sure it would have a meaning because it seems like every other flag had a meaning and it's just kind of weird that they would put a red slash on a blue flag for no reason because then they could have just done a blue flag and it would have been different so let me know what the meaning of this flag is in the comments below because i'm very very curious and now we're going to compare the flags to dexter's flags here so you know, the flags that always came with Dexter were like waving, blowing in the wind. They're curled. So you can see the difference there between them. The tubes are pretty much the same, although the ones in the advent calendar are a little bit thicker. And you can see here that they are not going in that side view mirror ring there. There's not a chance. It's just too wide, unfortunately. And although I don't have Chris Revstopski here, I believe that's her last name. They don't fit in her thing either. And now Dexter also has a green flag. Pretty sweet. Dexter with the green flag actually is being re-released this year, 2018. And here is his checkered flag. So very, very nice. Even though the flags are pretty pointless in this app encounter, it's still nice to have them though. And I'm glad that they do have meaning because I didn't initially think that they did. See, it's even hard to get these flags in there. There we go. All right, let's move on to oil can. Let's do that. So I found these to be most similar to the oil cans included with Mator, the UFO, back in like 2010. And he is being re-released though, unless he got canceled. But you can see like they're the same brand, Motor Oil. This one just says one big run and there are three of them attached. 
The blue is also a little bit different, just a little bit different design. But I'm really glad that they decided to include one of these cans. I think that maybe it would have been better if they had, like let's say, a Dynaco oil can instead of one of the cones or flags. I feel like that would have been better, but it's still nice to get this can without a doubt. Let's move on to the toolboxes now. So we have this Rusty's one here with the new Rusty's logo that matches the one at McQueen's hood, Mad K Rusty's Bumper One and Rear End Formula. And it has 95 here on the side with the usual silver line drawers, hollow inside, and stationary wheels. In comparison to the two previous Rusty's or 95 tool carts, this one here just has 95 on the front. And it was included with like Guido, with the tool gun, I believe, or maybe my name's, yeah, definitely my name's not Chuck. And there's also one that has 95, very small, written on both sides, but the front is completely blank, which is pretty boring. And this was like the early version with Guido and My Name's Not Chuck. And then they started releasing this one, which is a lot better in my opinion. And this is way better because it has the Rusty's logo and a 95. As for Dynaco, this is the one that came with like Luke pedal work and the team set. I do have to say that they made those four circles around the logo a lot more visible than before, which kind of stinks. The Dynaco logo is pretty much the same, although it looks to be a little fainter and less bold. The Dynaco looks to be darker, or the dinosaur, I should say. One thing that is amazing about the new one, though, is that it has 42 there on the side to match Cal Weathers, of course. So that was definitely an improvement. So I'm glad to have both now in my collection. And I will be right back. I just need to grab some more things to show so we can compare all of these now. First of all, I just want to show this other oil can that came with the Lenticular Mater back in 2010. Same brand, it says Motor Oil, but it's way, way smaller. Mine's a little damaged there, but it's okay. I know someone would call me on and say, you forgot to include this oil can. And I'm sure there's probably still another oil can out there that I forgot, but I feel like these are the most relevant. And same thing, I also felt like I should show this tool cart, even though it's very different because it has the gold foil logo on it with the 95 there. And this was just released with the Fireball Beach 4-pack with Guido, Luigi, McQueen, and Cruz. So, let's do like an evolution photo right here of all of the Rusty's tool carts. Which one's your favorite? I don't know, it's definitely between these two for me. So we'll set those off to the side there and now move on to the Pit Stop Barriers, which I think might be my favorite actually from the entire advent calendar because they are more in scale with the 155 scale die cast. Like they're the exact same size as all of the Pit Stop Barriers released in the Movie Moment series. Same as with the cones. You can see that they're the same length and all that. And this is the McQueen one from before, and obviously it matches his Cars 1 paint job, and this is his Cars 3 paint job. This has a lot more going on with the Flames and the Rusties, but it doesn't say McQueen on it. So, I do prefer the Cars 3 version, but yeah. My main point is that they're the same. They didn't change them up or make them accurate or in scale with the Mini Racers. They are pretty much for the 155 scale die cast, which is cool. Because, you know, obviously they go well with what we have more of, whereas we don't have that many minis yet. Here is Cal Weathers, of course, Dynaco 42 on either side with some lines there. Here is the King's Pit Stop Barrier that was released with the King in the Movie Moment series. I just haven't opened it up yet, but I probably will in a future video. So you can see there the King with the crown, Dynaco racing, and 43 with a line on the bottom there. So you can see how different this one is. It's a lot less complicated, which I think looks good and makes sense for Cal because Cal wasn't really considered the king. And here is Jackson Storms with the 2.0 on either side, Igniter Liquid Adrenaline, and then the S for Storm, this side being a black, that side being a gray. And it does look very, very nice with Jackson Storm himself there. So that is all for all the accessories and items included with the advent calendar. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Kind of like the last Christmas video to be done on my channel because I know 
really after Christmas. Everyone like doesn't want to watch anything about Christmas anymore, and understandably so. But I hope you still enjoyed this video, and let me know in the comments section below of everything included in the advent calendar, which is your favorite item. And I don't know about you guys, but it's really between, for me, Storm's Barrier and the oil can. But I think I'm going to have to go with the oil can just because it's like unexpected in there. Kind of like a surprise because you really just don't know what's coming. Like I totally forgot about it. And there's only one of them. Whereas there's two barriers or three barriers, two carts, a bunch of flags, six cones. And yeah. So thank you guys for watching. Sorry if I sounded a little weird in this video. I'm just a little tired. And I'll see you guys probably tomorrow for another video. You can expect daily uploads for probably the next two weeks while I'm off from school. So I'll see you guys then. Bye now.